Russian students in today's class, we will talk about countries. This is an exciting topic. This is class number six, countries and nationalities. And my name is Savi Vega. Countries and nationalities in English. This is one of the most important information we exchange with someone when we met for the first time. Where are you from and what is your nationality? There are thousands, hundreds of countries in our planet Earth, and there are different nationalities. So today's class, you will learn some countries and some nationalities. I hope you enjoy this. Also, you will learn how to ask for the country or how to ask about the nationality of a person in English. In the examples that you can see right now, we have countries and nationalities, like for example, Brazil, Brazilian, Turkey, Turkish, and India, Indian. Countries and their people. The country has a name, but the people that live in the country receive a name too. This is what we call nationality. So if you live in the country China, that means that your nationality is Chinese. The people from China is Chinese. If you live in Russia, then you are a Russian. If you live in Brazil, then you are a Brazilian. If you live in Panama, then you are a Panamanian. Yes. If you live in Germany, you are a German. If you live in Japan, then you are a Japanese. If you live in the country of Sudan, you are a Sudi. If you live in France, you are a Frenchman or a French. If you live in Italy, you are an Italian. If you live in the country of Greece, you are Greek. If you live in Canada, you are a Canadian. If you live in Austria, then you are an Austrian. If you live in the Netherlands, you are a Dutchman or a Dutch. If you live in the United States of America, you are an American. If you, la if you live in the United Kingdom or England, you are an Englishman or an Englishwoman or English. Okay, now let's watch a video about the countries and nationalities. Here are some countries around the world. Countries and nationalities. Welcome, Crystal. Countries and nationality. We saw two questions. Where are you from or where you come from? This is the question you ask when you want to know what is the nation or what is the country of the person? Where are you from? Then there are some ways to answer to this question. To be. For example, 
we use to be plus the preposition from plus the name of the city. Then you say, I, where are you from? That's the question. Where are you from? I am from Sydney. Sydney is the name of the city. For example, if someone asks you right now, where are you from? And you say, David, I am from David, the city of David. But if the person is asking about the country, where are you from? Then you add the country. I am from Panama. I am from Australia. If you want to say your nationality, then you use the verb to be plus the nationality. I am Australian. I am Australian. Another example, where is he from? He is from Venice. He is from Italy. He is Italian. Then we have another example. Where is he from? He is from Vancouver. That's the city. He is from Canada, the country. He is Canadian, the nationality. Here there is another video that includes more countries. Sorry, this is a video of a special city that is London, okay? You will watch this video. I will ask you some questions about London. London is the capital city of England. English come from England. This is the language. Thank you. 
Wow, right? London. London is the capital city of England. English come from England. Okay, let's see some vocabulary words related to London. And also we will learn some important landmarks per each city. Like for example, we have here in this picture that one of these is the double-decker buses. Double-decker buses, they are red and they can uh, have a lot of people inside them. They are like a landmark from England. Double-deckers come from London. London is a city. Also, we have here in the picture the Big Bang Band. Okay, this is a huge clock. Like you saw in the video, it's a landmark of the city among the palaces too, right? Now you can see the Statue of Liberty. This is the landmark from New York. New York is a city in the United States, one of the most important cities in the world, one of the busiest and crowded too. We have here the Tokyo Tower, and this is in Tokyo, Japan. Tokyo is a city from Japan. It's very commonly mistaken by the Eiffel Tower, but they are different. This is in Tokyo. Okay, Sydney, Australia. This is uh, the opera. You can see it, but there is the opera here at the Sydney, the Opera Theater at Sydney, Australia. And this uh, bridge is one of the most emblematic symbols of the city. Sydney is a city in Australia. London, New York, Tokyo, Sydney. They are cities. Australia, Brazil, Ethiopia, Greece are countries. Australia is a country. Brazil is a country. Ethiopia is a country. 
Greece is a country. Okay, let's check this chart. The question for today's class is, where are you from? Remember, we answer this question using the verb to be and the preposition from plus the name of the city, the name of the country or your nationality. Where are you from? I'm from Auckland. Where are you from? I'm from New Zealand. Here we have some examples. Where are you from? I'm from Sydney. I'm from Australia. Where are you from? You are from Paris. You are from France. Where is he from? He's from Istanbul. He is from Turkey. Where is she from? She is from Tokyo. She is from Japan. Where are we from? We are from Cairo. We are from Egypt. Where are they from? They are from Lima. They are from Peru. Let's practice to learn more about the different countries. But before that, let's review this name of the different countries that we have here, see. And you can see the flags too. Ukraine, Russia, Netherlands, Britain, France, Italy, Germany, Spain, Poland, Belgium, Switzerland, Sweden, Austria, Turkey, Romania, Belarus, Norway, USA, India, China, Canada, Denmark, Ireland, and Finland, Belarus, Belarus. Okay, now let's, let's move to the practice. Hi, Christelle, how are you doing, Christelle? I'm so happy you are with me. Can you hear me? Christelle. Okay, it's time to practice, Christelle. Today's topic is countries and nationalities, okay? And of course, we have London. Okay. Let's start with this game. You have to activate your microphone so you can tell me the answer. Uh, any of you can answer, Cristal or Hermerito. We have here the nationalities and we have here the country. I will start asking you about the nationality. I say the nationality, then you tell me the country. Okay, Cristal? Russian. Okay, Mexican. Mexico. Mexico, very good, Emerito and Crisel. Chinese. China. Turkish. Turkey. Turkey. Brazilian. Come on, Emerito, you can do Brazil. it. Brazil. British. The UK, Greek, Greek, Greece, yes, American, the USA, the USA of American, excellent, very good, I really like the bells. Okay, now we are moving our level a little bit more. Now let's practice with the question, where are you from? Where are you from? I live in Italy, my address is 1918 Oxford Street, or I am from England. What is the correct answer for this question? Where are you from? A, B, or C? I am from England. Very good, Christelle. Now I have another question. Where do you live? Where do you live? Now ask him for the place you live. Where do you live? A, B, or C? I live in France. I am from Brazil. My address is 18 Oxford Street. 
A, I live in France. Very good, excellent. What is your address? Now they are asking for your address. Address in Spanish means dirección. What's your address? A, I come from Spain. B, I am Italian. C, my address is 18 Oxford Street. A, B, or C? C, my address is 18 Oxford Street. I come from Spain. So what is my nationality? I come from Spain. Emerito? Cristal? I come from Spain. I am French, I am Spanish, or I am Brazilian. I am Spain. I am a Spanish, very good. I am a Spanish. I am from New York. If I live in New York, then I am Russian, I am Chinese, I am American. I am from New York. New York. I am American, yes. New York is the name of the city. American is the nationality. Very good. Excellent. Here we have another one. Okay. We have it. Now let's... Complete the sentence with the verb, the nationalities, and the countries. She is from, what is the answer? She is from East or America? America. She's from America, so blank American. She She is American. Okay. This is like two sentences in one. I am blank Colombia, so I am from. Yes, I am from Colombia. I am Colombian. Excellent. Next one. He's from France, so he He is French. He is French. Excellent. Very good. They are from blank, they blank Brazilian. They are Brazilian. Excellent. Very good. I blank from Japan, I am mm, blank. I am from Japan, I am Japanese. Yes, there is a mistake here, and E is missing. Le faltó una E, sorry for that. She is mm, Ireland, she is mm, blank. Ireland she is, is the country. She, she is from Italy. Uh-huh. She is from Ireland. She is Irish. She is from Ireland. She is Irish. She is Irish. She is Irish. Yes, very good. Excellent. 
Okay. We watch a very interesting video about London. But before moving to London, let's talk about countries and their food. Do you think that you can recognize the food and the country? So in this game, you have to tell me what is this food come from? <laughs> Which country does curry come from? China, Argentina, Italy, or India? Curry. Where do you think curry is from? Which country does curry come from? China, Italy, Argentina, or India? Curry. I will do it for you. It's India. Curry is from India. Oh, look at this delicious hamburger. Which country do burgers come from? United States, Peru, Japan, or China? United States. United States, everybody knows that. <laughs> okay, which country do noodles come from? Noodles, noodles, Spain, China, United States, or Argentina? China. 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 Which country does pizza come from? Pizza, India, China, Italy, Peru? Italy. Italy. Excellent. Very good, Kristen. Which country does asado come from? Italy, Argentina, India, or China? Italy. Italy? Do you think that they grill meat? There is a very famous... How did you say? Argentina. Argentina, yes. They are very famous for the asado. They grill meat. Which country does sushi come from? Spain, China, India, or Japan? Sushi. Sushi. Have you ever heard about sushi? Sushi is a food from Japan. From Japan. Okay. Wow, this is a paella. Which country does paella come from? Chile, Spain, the United States, or Argentina? Spain. Spain. Paella come from Spain. Which country do tacos come from? Argentina, Bolivia, England, or Mexico? Hermerito, con tacos, tacos. Where are tacos from? Mexico. Mexico. Very good, Mexico. Which country do macaroons come from? Macaroons, Spain, France, Italy, or United States? France. France. Excellent. Which country does dulce de leche come from? Dulce de leche, Argentina, China, Italy, or Chile? Chile. Oh, no, it's Argentina. But well, don't worry, this is okay. Okay, now let's practice about London. London is a very famous place, a very famous city from the, uh, the, the United Kingdom, right? London is the capital of England. Uh, you see that uh, the, even the queen lived there. So you will see some landmarks and you have to tell me which is the correct name. Okay, so we have this big clock. What is the name of this big clock? Big Ben, Tower, or House of Parliament? Big Ben. This is the Big Ben. Yes, this is the Big Ben. This is the name of this building. Wow. The, I have to give you a hint. The Queen lives here. So what is the name of this place? Tower Bridge, Buckingham Palace, or 
Trafalgar Square. Queen Elizabeth. Do you think this is square? Queen Elizabeth lives here. This is the house of the queen. Buckingham Palace. This is the Buckingham Palace. Very good. Excellent. Oh, wow. This is a big attraction. So what is the name of this big circle? The big attraction. Big Ben, London Eye, or Shard? This is not the Big Ben because this is not a clock. So you have two options. London. The London, London Eye. Yes, it's the London Eye. So you can see the city. Wow. What is this monument? What is the name of this building? Tower? Tower Bridge or the British Museum? A, B, or C? B. No, it is not a bridge. It's the tower. Tower in English means um, torre. Bridge in English means puente. Wow. This is a church. Okay. I give you a hint. This is a church. So is this the Buckingham Palace, the Tate Gallery, or the Westminster Abbey? What is the name of this building? A, B, or C? A, B, or C? C. C, yes. It's Westminster Abbey. It is the place where the, the queen and the king get married and the princess get married and they are buried there. Wow. What is the name of this type of buses? Cap, double decker or tube? How do you call these buses in England? Double decker. Double decker. Excellent. Doble piso in Spanish, okay? <laughs> the ones that we use from Chiriquí to Panama. Okay, so this is the Bridge Tower, the Hard Rocks, or the London Bridge. What do you think is this? A, B, or C? A. A, yes, it's the Tower Bridge. And you have a bridge in the middle. This is the Tower Bridge. This exercise was just to see if you were paying attention during the video. <laughs> okay, in your English module, you have an activity. In your English module, you have an activity. And the activity is a reading. The name of the reading is London. Cristal, do you have your module with you? ¿Tienes el módulo contigo allí? Yes, teacher. ¿Me puedes decir el número de páginas de la lectura en London? 23. Ok, 23, yes. London is on page 23. So I will read it for you. Ok, London. Containing the city of London, it is the capital of the United Kingdom and of England. It is recognized as one of the key world cities. With over 7 million inhabitants, Londoners in Greater London, it is the second most populous conurbation in Europe after Moscow. Founded as Londinium, the capital of Roman province of Britannia, it later rose to become the center of the British Empire. Today, it generates over 
70 percentage of the GDP of the United Kingdom's economy, the world's fourth largest, and it is a major financial center along with New York and Tokyo. For several centuries, London has been one of the most influential powers in politics, finance, arts, and fashion, and remains so today. So, what do you have to do with this reading? Okay, the task for this week is translate. You have to translate this extract from the reading London into Spanish. You have to put the reading in Spanish and write the most important aspects of the reading. So you can write five different important or main ideas about London. Cinco cosas que consideran son importantes de Londres y poner la lectura en español. So this is what you have to do. Okay? So this is what you have to do as a task. Ese es el task de la semana. Que London, London.